So the other day I was kind of going on about my adoration for R-Sync, and somebody on Macedon, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, reminded me about the powerful application known as Wormhole. So I think now is a good time to check out what Wormhole's like in 2019. Seems I haven't looked at the program in about a few years. So let's dive into Wormhole. I'm 80% sure we covered some of this last time I went over Wormhole, but we're going to take a peek at it right now. I have two terminals open over here. On the, the right hand side is my server in the other room, and on the left hand side is the current computer you're staring at right now. I went ahead and ran Wormhole help to have it dump out the help file. Relay URL. So unfortunately slash fortunately the power of wormhole does have a relay that talks to the outside world. So the two computers can shake hands externally even if we're behind a firewall. So that's good that it has that because firewalls are a pain in the ass, but it's bad because those relays are not there. Uh, dump timing file. I'm not sure what that is all about. That might be a debugging thing. Version shows the versions and exits, which uh, let's actually just do that one real quick. Uh, version. I pulled this from the Debian repository. That's actually that's let's go into that. That's how you install it. So let's sudo apt install magic wormhole. Can't remember if I already have it on here. Ah, oh, it's still the newest what version. So we already have it on here. So we have a big file right here. This is the Fedora workstation. So this thing is 1.9 gigabytes. Now both of these computers are on the same network. This machine is connected through Wi-Fi. The other one's connected through gigabit network. Let's go to the desktop and wormhole send Fedora. Now what it does first is it generates the code. So the nice thing with this code is written in a way that I could tell someone over the phone, send it via text message, three enrollment blackjack. Now, once another person drops in three enrollment blackjack, it'll you know, have the connection set and only those two people can connect. And then it sends it to the other end. Let's see, worm hole. What was the other command? Receive. 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 Just type that in and then it asks for the phrase. So we're just going to copy and paste this here. Copy, paste, and would you like to download this file? Look at that. I hit yes. And the magic begins. Now, again, we are here at the limitation of my wireless network here. So it's not gonna go by super fast, but you can see how a system like this can be very useful and for sending files from one end to the other. And it looks like we're almost done. Ah, there we go. Transfer received. Excellent. So SHA256 sum Fedora. SHA256 sum Fedora. See if the, the uh, hashes are the same. The server is much faster. Yeah, those look like the same code. They do have a function for specifically sending SSH keys, which you can do manually, obviously, but this kind of helps facilitate the process. So another area why this is not the best option for all platforms is I've had a hell of a time installing this on my phone. It's not in the Termux uh, default repository and getting it to install with pip has been well, this is where rsync 
is a superior option still, and even uh, sync thing. But this is an excellent tool to drop into your arsenal. So uh, have fun, and I hope this uh, hope this helps. All right, guys. I uh, hope this little dive into wormhole in 2019 is uh, eye-opening. It was for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.